Welcome back, True Believers, Elite Legend, back at you guys with another G.I. Joe Classified Series video. And we are fresh off the heels of the very first Fan First Friday of 2022 from the folks over at G.I. Joe. And I know the Elite Legend did a what to expect or a preview for the Fan First Friday recently where the Elite Legend was talking about some of the rumors going around in the G.I. Joe Classified Series community. And one of the things that the Elite Legend uh, talked about actually did come to fruition, although I am not an insider. Unlike Shill Island, I told you! Shill Island told everybody that we were going to be getting none other than Falcon. Now, unfortunately, we did not get Falcon just yet. I think he might still be holed up at a rehab. They're going to do a little bit of an intervention, and then eventually we might get Falcon in the G.I. Joe Classified series. But unfortunately, there was no announcement about Falcon just yet. There was also no announcement about Scrap Iron. That was one of the rumors going around. Unfortunately, we're not going to be getting the regendered Scrap Iron. I know I really wanted regendered scrap iron just as much as everyone else. We are also not getting the um, dreadnoughts known as Xandar and Zorana, unfortunately. I know, I know. We wanted some more dreadnoughts in our Cobra collections. And even sadder news, there will be no Dr. Mindbender or... Cobra Ferret anytime soon. I know, I know. And to make it even worse, Dr. Mindbender works for Hasbro. I don't know, folks. You guys are supposed to listen to the fans. We want Dr. Mindbender. Uh, let's lower our expectation, guys. Even though I said it was confirmed. Ah, uh, calm down, Shell Island. So those were some of the figures that the Elite Legend discussed in my preview to the Fan First Friday from G.I. Joe. But now let's turn our attention to the actual Fan First Friday and what was revealed. And they kicked it off, they being the magnificent dynamic duel of Lenny and Squeaky. Um, they were able to go ahead and... um, First things first... They were able to read an email or a text message basically kicking off this Hasbro Pulse Fan First Friday in grand fashion by apologizing, by letting us know that there is a global pandemic going on, not that we haven't already noticed, letting us know that the Pirates of the South Pacific have been hijacking shipments of G.I. Joes, but only the ones that... Uh, only the ones that go to Hasbro Pulse and retailers that are not Dorkside Toys. And this is Dorkside is not a paid sponsor. However, they get their shit out, um, which is more than you can say for Big Bad Toy Store, whom we know those bros don't ship. Yeah, let's hear for Big Bad Toy Store. So, yeah, they wanted to let everybody know they wanted to be the most transparent um, brand in the <laughs> Hasbro umbrella, but it's funny how you can find action figures from every single, well, most of the lines that are under the Hasbro umbrella. You can find Marvel Legends, you can find Transformers, you can find Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, you can find Star Wars Black Series, you can find Nerf, you can find anything that's Hasbro related, but you can't find G.I. Joe classified series figures unless they are the Cobra Commander that nobody wanted, the Flint um, with the terrible head scan and dude who does not look like Lady J. You cannot find G.I. Joe classified series figures anywhere on Toy Isles. And that's because the Pirates of the South Pacific took them all. I know. How about a big boo for the Pirates of the South Pacific? You guys suck. But one of the things that did not suck about this 
Fan First Friday was the announcement, finally, that the Crimson Twins are coming to the G.I. Joe Classified series. And no, the <laughs> meme going around the internet is not true. These are not going to be uh, store exclusives, one going to Walmart, one going to Target. No, I have a feeling that Gal and Godot are going to be part of a two-pack. And we actually heard that from, hey, you, you guys heard it from me! You guys heard it from me! All right, calm down, Shell. So, the Crimson Twins are coming, and they're very close to Classic, and <laughs> I just hope they don't make a mess when they come. Another figure that had been rumored previously, and people smarter than the Elite Legend were able to crack the code, uh, that figure is none other than one of the original 13 G.I. Joes, none other than Stalker. And forgive the Elite Legend how I pronounce it. I know the linguistics majors are going to come for the Elite Legend, but let them come. Elite Legend reloaded. So Stalker is a welcome addition to any G.I. Joe collection. And I cannot wait to get him in my collection. And the estimated time of arrival is sometime in 2024, which is probably when Valiverse will start shipping Wave 1 Sergeant Slaughter. Emily and Lenny then started talking about a big box. And Lenny was like, I love a big old box. And Emily was like, we're going to have such a big, beautiful box to look at. And I think what Emily was referring to was those 25th anniversary boxes that came out during the 25th anniversary of G.I. Joe. With the 40th anniversary coming up, I feel that that would be quite appropriate. And those boxes are going to be pretty big. Now... What goes inside of those boxes really isn't going to be anything to write home about. I know a lot of people were upset about the decos for the classified series. They wanted classic Sumbo interpretations of their favorite characters, and we didn't get them. We got a lot of futuristic-looking things, um, but they are making good. They at least made the effort to correct some of their problems. The first figure that they showed that's going to be part of their 6-inch retro line, which is rumored to be part of Walmart or which is rumored to be a Walmart exclusive. They didn't go ahead and say it, but I have a feeling that it is going to be Walmart exclusive, which is going to suck greatly. The first figure that they showed off was the Baroness with F me boots. This is going to be more of a retro Baroness. And let me know in the comments, what do you think about this Baroness? Now, the second figure that they showed off was, uh, it looks like they were going to try to make, uh, it looks like they wanted to, Go ahead and redo the dude who does not look like Lady J figure. They gave it brighter colors, and they actually gave it um, a, a new repaint job. This is actually a James Charles-inspired makeup job on dude who does not look like Lady J. So I think it's time for a new name for a dude who does not look like Lady J. Um, let's think about it. Um, how about dude who still does not look like Lady J? I think that's a winner. Yeah, that's a good name. Then Emily wanted to let us know that it was the return of the O-Rings. So to celebrate the return of O-Rings, they showed us their O-Faces and also a two-pack of Cobra Officer and Trooper. That looks pretty sick. They also went ahead and showed us Duke and Cobra Commander in their Sunbow inspired colors, which is kind of probably going to piss off people that ordered uh, or that jumped in on that Kickstarter just to get that Cobra Commander. So I'm sorry for you guys that paid the $200 or whatever that cost. Elite Legend didn't go in on that. Um, but, you know, we're going to get a Cobra Commander. If you want them, you can get them as part of a two pack with Duke. So Duke and Coco, part of the o-ring return in 2022 now after revealing four figures in o-ring form they decided to announce the final two figures from the walmart retro series which i'm saying walmart retro series although it has not been confirmed it's not confirmed until i say it okay shill island it's not confirmed until shill island does a breaking news burst but you don't need a breaking news burst to know that we are getting a retro-inspired Destro, 
with what Emily described as having magic eyes. That's right. Destro is going to come in classic looking attire and he's going to feature eyebrows, which are also magical. And now everybody loves when they announce new snake eyes. Everybody loves when they announce new roadblocks. Uh, but one of the things that is a guilty pleasure of the elite legend is seeing <laughs> releases of gung ho. But this time, remember the first gung ho figure was so bad. They had to do it twice. And I don't even want to call it gung ho. Um, I like to call him Iceman Chuck Liddell, um, gung ho. Um, but it looks like they actually listened to the fans and gave us what we wanted with the exception of the stupid miniature space boots that gung ho comes with we have classic deco the tattoo is not you know accurate but hey copyrights um nobody likes them and shill island doesn't even follow those uh, <laughs> so so basically we got the gung ho that everybody wanted so you don't have to order that valiverse little pack even though that valiverse little pack probably was never gonna come ah uh, come on oh you're supposed we're supposed to bootleg Bobby Vala. I forgot. I'm sorry. All right. Let's hear it for the Valiverse. Figures coming with cooking instructions for Series 3. So finally, a classic looking gung-ho. And I could not be more excited to add this guy to my collection. And look, the head is completely different. It looks more like gung-ho and not Iceman Chuck Liddell. Yes. Let's give a nice round of applause. To the folks at G.I. Joe Hasbro for listening to the fans. And it appears that they also listened to the fans because they actually gave us our first multi-pack to Army Build. We're going to be getting a three-pack of Vipers. You guys remember, the Vipers initially were a Target Manager exclusive. So basically, we're going to get um, redecos of the Viper, and then there's going to be one Officer. And uh, Lenny doesn't know the rankings of the figures that he designs, so he wanted you guys to let him know in the comments. And Elite Legend doesn't know either, so let the Elite Legend know. Is that kind of like an Officer Viper, or is it an Officer Viper and a Gentleman? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. But one thing that the Elite Legend does know is that I got to get probably a couple of these packs. Let me know how many you're going to be getting, and where do you think this three-pack is going to belong to? I think it's going to be a Target exclusive. Hopefully not. But again, none of these items were up for pre-order because Pirates of the South Pacific and Global Pandemic. So, but one thing that they did reveal is that they are going to be releasing the Blame Game very, very soon as well. But one thing that Lenny did um, kind of um, go on about was a, a unit and uh, putting his unit in a box. I don't know. He was talking about a box and a unit and that we're going to be pleased with it. So when I hear units, I think of the big unit. Remember when he exploded that poor bird? Uh, so, But I don't think that's the big unit Lenny was talking about. But there was a lot of weird innuendos. And I know you guys are used to innuendos when you watch Elite Legend Toys and Collectibles. Dusty is on hiatus. So you're not going to hear Dusty chime in on big boxes, O-faces, or big units. I'm glad it's wildly inappropriate. So there you have it, folks. Emily and Lenny were very excited about actually dropping 10 new items on their Fan First Friday. The very first Fan First Friday of 2022. Let me know in the comments what are you most excited about. Is it the Crimson Twins? Is it Stalker? Is it the 6-inch retro figures? Is it the O-Ring figures? Is it the Viper 3-pack? Let the Elite Legend know in the comments. I'll tell you what I'm most excited about. It's the Crimson Twins. And are you disappointed? Did, were you a little disappointed in what we heard um, from Emily and Lenny? Um, are you excited about the overlapping pre-orders that they mentioned at the beginning and end of the stream? <laughs> are you excited about the repaints? Are you excited about the delays? Are you excited about the O-faces and the big units? I know the Elite Legend is always excited about a big old unit. <laughs> 
So there you have it, folks. If you haven't already done so, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, hit the notification bell so you can be alerted to all of Elite Legends next videos. Check out my G.I. Joe Classified Series playlist, Marvel Legends playlist. Follow the Elite Legend at Instagram on Elite Legend 224. And until next time, make mine. Ah!